So recently, I've been playing a lot more golf. And because of that, I've become much more familiar with the golf clubs that I use. Now I've made some changes. Some things have stayed, yes, but others have also been shipped out and I've got some new stuff in. I'm gonna show you what's in the bag currently. Now also, in this video, I'm gonna give you a chance to win the driver that I'm also using. All you've gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. We'll pick a winner very soon to win exactly the same driver that I currently use. We'll ship it worldwide. Right, let's start off with things first that haven't changed, because quite a lot has changed in this bag recently. I'm gonna start off with the irons. I've been using, for probably near a year now, these, the TaylorMade P7MCs. Slight muscle cavity, very, very nice design. I, you know what, I've got no complaints about these irons at all. They offer me forgiveness, good out along rough. The short irons feel really good. They're a good looking iron. No complaints with the irons. And for the foreseeable, unless something really catches my eye, these are staying put. I've got the irons from four down to pitching wedge, give you a bit of spiel. I've got the KBS Tour, 130X flex shafts. I've got the standard tailor-made Golf Pride. I think that's a Z grip on it. And that's pretty much it. The next clubs that are in the bag, which I must admit right now, are the clubs that are in the um, weakest position and probably the ones I'm gonna change very, very soon because I'm just not quite getting on with them. And I've had them in the bag for quite a while. Wedges I currently carry, are these, the TaylorMade MG2s. I've got them in a 52, a 56, and a 60. There's a couple of reasons why they may change. First off, because of the lofting. I fancy going, to my next wedge is going 50 degrees of loft, 54 and 58. I feel like a gap in for me is gonna suit me because my pitching wedge in that set, in my TaylorMade irons, are 46. So I feel like if I go four degrees from that, I'd be in a better position. I sometimes find between my pitching wedge and my gap wedge is too big a gap. Now I did like these because of the feel off the face. These are the ones that go rusty on the face and I do like them. I just don't love them anymore. Now, one other club that is still in the bag, not been changed. And believe it or not, I've actually been using it outrageously more recently and I'll explain why in a minute. Three wood, Cobra King F7. Guys, if you've seen a what's in the bag from me over the last couple of years, you know this isn't going anywhere. And more recently, I've been using it more than ever before. I've got this in 14 and a half degrees. Fujikora, 65 grams, X-Flex, a standard Lampkin grip on it. Just really like it. I love these rails on the bottom. Great, great turf interaction, really strong off the tee. I probably carry this in the region of about 250 yards on a good hit. I like it when I'm hitting it into par fives. And as I mentioned, I'm hitting it all off the tee outrageously more recently. But let me explain why that is. Now, the last couple of years in my bag, I've been very fond of a two iron. 18 degrees, I had the Callaway um, UT iron in the bag for a while. The last one I had was the Titleist U500. But I had a little incident. So when I was playing at JCB in one of the Drake 75s, on the driving range before I got out and playing, and it didn't actually make the cut of the video, I was hitting some shots, warming up, and suddenly I hit a shot and thought, that didn't feel right. The head was basically snapped off. Something really bad had happened. And it wasn't the shot, wear and tear or whatever it was, but the club became redundant, it was damaged. So I decided to get a replacement one of those. I got the two iron replacement, but I also fancy trying a three iron replacement as well. So currently right now in the bag is this, the Titleist U500 three iron. So it's the slightly chunky one, not the chunkiest, because there is also a U510, which is much chunkier. This now has replaced my two iron because my gap in now between my four iron which I normally hit about 220 yards, and my three wood, which I mentioned a minute ago, I hit 250 yards. This sits in around that kind of 235 yard now carry, and I'll love it for that. I can still hit off the tee, I can still crunch one, I can get it low and pierce one out there, but I've also hit some worldy shots into some par fives with this as well. Now I've gone for a steel shaft in this. I've gone with the Project X 6.5, and again, just in a cross line Lampkin grip. Um, really like this. I've got the two iron in the bag as well, so if it was a super, super windy day, I might throw the two iron in the bag another time. Sorry, I've not got the two iron in the bag as well. I've got the two iron as an option, should I say. But the reason why I put this in 
Again, it fills that gap between four iron and three wood. And I've just found, because of that, my two iron that I used to carry, I probably used to carry around about 245 yards. And it was just, it made my three wood, three wood just redundant. I never used it. Now I've got the three iron. Now I've got the three wood. They're working very nicely indeed. I've, I'm glad that happy accident took place. We've got two more clubs in the bag. I'm going to save the driver because that's the one you have a chance of winning if you enter the giveaway. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Putter. Now I would say, as far maybe my chipping, my short game, the area of my game that's let me down this year is my putting. I just don't feel like enough goes in the hole. And I'm sure everyone watching this video would be like, that sounds like me. But I've just found recently, sometimes if I lose a bit of confidence on the greens, the ball's just not dropping. I'm getting lip outs and whatever. So I decided to go for a change. The start of the break 75, I tried the two ball 10 putter from Odyssey. Quite liked it, but not fully. So I went back to the even roll ER2 black, which I've had in the bag for a while. Loved it. But again, I just wasn't getting the confidence. So after I played Stockport in the break 75s, I went into the pro shop and on the rack was a putter that caught my eye straight away. And I was like, that looks pretty nice. And it was this, the Odyssey works big T blade. Now this is, believe it or not, this is an old putter. Like this is four or five years old. Gary, the pro in the shop kind of didn't even have it on his stock. So that's showing how far, how old it was. I really like it for a number of reasons. This bit here, almost the blade style, really reminds me of my even roll that I had in. But I love this alignment here at the back. I'm a big fan of that. And I'll show you why in a minute, because what I do to my golf ball, it just marries up really nicely to that. Love the black shaft in it. I also really like a thicker grip. So this is the slim 3.0 grip. It's not particularly very slim. It's quite a fat grip. So I like that because typically I'll, I'll grip it left below right. A lot of time when I'm putting, I go left below right. But some eagle-eyed viewers would have also noticed on my shorter putts, I kind of go for the claw grip where I try and get my, my hand more on top. I feel like it just gives me a little bit more stability. So I quite like the thicker grip because of that. 34 inches, I'm a big fan of this. And I also quite like this micro hinge insert. Like it does feel nice. How long it'll last, time will tell. But at the moment it's in the bag and it's doing well. Right, driver. Underneath my head cover, we have this. Now, I started the Brake 75s, I'm teasing you a bit. I started the Brake 75s with another driver in the bag, but I switched this more recently. Currently, I have the Ping G425 Max driver. Now, in my review of this, I said it was the most forgiving driver, the straightest hitting driver that I've probably ever tested. And you know what? It is. I've got the weight in the toe, so a little bit more fade bias to stop those lefts. I've got it in nine degrees of loft. I've not changed the loft on this driver. I've got this in the Tensai Flex X 65 gram with a cross line um, Lampkin grip on as well. And I've just gone a little bit thicker in the grip, just an extra couple of layers, just so it helps me not turn my hands over with the driver. I was using the LS Tech. So the Ping, same version, G425 but LS Tech, so lower spin model. And I really liked it, but I just found when I didn't quite strike it, I got more punished. Putting this in the bag, I don't see any drop off in performance, even on really good hits. It still feels like it performs just as good. And I've seen that even on GC Quad when I've tested it, but my bad shots, it's better. Like when I'm hitting it healy or slightly off the bottom, I'm still looking down the hole and going, that's okay, that's still in play. And that's really important for me. So I've been a big fan of this. So again, if you want to win a G425 driver, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll pick a winner very soon. Then, I'm gonna dive a little bit into the bag. Now I've been using this pink hoofer crazy e-light for well, a few months now. I really like it, but to be honest, I, a lot of time I've been playing, I've been putting it on my motor caddy at the moment, which I also really love. Um, however, I'm just gonna talk through a couple of things. Golf ball I'm currently using is the Titleist Pro V1. So the new one for this year. No different to Pro V1s I've ever tested before, but I just like it. I don't think you can go massively wrong with Pro V1. What I'll typically do as well, and this is why I like it with my um, putter at the moment, I use one of these things like a line me up. I get a black Sharpie and all I'll do, 
to make sure it's nice and straight. I put a line straight through the Pro V1. So if you ever see a golf ball on the golf course like this, it could well be mine. Then I put a line in the side for face alignment. And let me just very quickly show you while we're near a putting green. Let me show you this. When I'm putting it down on the ground, I've not lined that up, but I'm aiming it towards my target. Because of that black line on the back of my putter now, I feel like it runs really nicely through the black line on the golf ball. I feel like the two lines here and here help me with my club face alignment. So that then I'm, when I'm stroking it, I just feel like everything's really well lined up. The combination of the line on the ball, the line on the putter, been a big fan of. Let me show you this very quickly. This is quite cool. Company sent me this. It has, actually has my logo on it. So I could draw around this. And then this might not be the neatest job in the world. I kind of rushed it. A little RS logo. It's quite cool, isn't it? So if you definitely see one of those golf balls, it's mine. Next, I want to show you this. This is something, again, quite cool in the bag. So normally I just use white tees. I don't really care too much on size. I think it's 45 mil is the size. But just had some little personalized tees made as well. So maybe, I'm going to give you a little sneak preview, maybe coming to a merch site near you soon. Technology-wise, I am sponsored by Garmin. I'm a Garmin ambassador, so I use two main things. I've got the Approach S62 watch, which gives me GPS to front, middle, back, gives me the layout of the hole. Very, very useful, really like that. And I kind of use that when I'm casually playing or if I'm filming, if I just want a rough idea of how far it is to the middle of the green, let's say. The other thing I use as well, and certainly when I've been doing my break 75s, is this, the Garmin Z82. This is an unbelievable rangefinder. When you look through it, it looks like a computer game. Like it's not, it's not a, um, it's like computerized. So when you zap the flag, it gives you all 3D analysis down the side, like GPS, it's mega. It's very worth looking into. Um, what else? Rain gloves, just in case it rains, ball cutter, just in case I need to cut a golf ball open, towel, a couple of spare gloves, and that's pretty much what's in the bag. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit like again if you want to get involved in that giveaway. We're on a mission this year to try and hit 2 million subscribers. Let's try and get there. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do. It's free to do. Loads more videos coming your way. We've got loads more action-packed series as well. Guys, thanks for watching. In-depth, proper, proper in-depth, what's in the bag. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.